New at 6 o'clock. We're hearing for the family of a man who was struck by a hit and run driver in Valley Glen. The victim was left with severe injuries. I would assume where Tim Caputo is live in Valley Glen with that interview and surveillance video. Tim. Yeah, David, certainly some uh, emotional conversation I had with the two sisters. That young man was hit while crossing this street here behind me, and they tell me he turns 30 literally in a matter of days. And they say, well, he will survive uh, this hit and run from last week. He will likely be spending that birthday sedated in a hospital. They're speaking out today because they want that driver to come forward and turn themselves in. Tyler Arona was trying to cross Sherman Way after grabbing lunch in Valley Glen last Wednesday, but never made it home. As you can see in this security video, the 29-year-old was hit by this white Infiniti sedan, leaving him with so many serious injuries, doctors are performing new surgeries every day. Two broken femurs, a dislocated arm, um, crushed pelvis, fluid in lungs. They had to put rods in his legs. He has to do two surgery for his legs. Um, he lost his toe. When Tyler's family first got the call from the hospital, they were told he might not survive the night. Then they told us that he's going to make it, but if he does make it, he's going to be paralyzed. But I guess now they're saying he'll be able to walk and stuff again. It's just going to be a long time of therapy, like over a year of therapy, and he'll be in the hospital for months. We spoke with Tyler's sisters today who have been focused on their brother, who remains in critical condition. But now they want to draw attention to the driver who didn't stop. They're hoping added attention of this hit and run, which happened at 4.30 in the afternoon on July 3rd, will either get the driver or someone who knows the driver to come forward. They say they've watched this surveillance video a hundred times and can't understand why the white sedan seems to swerve towards their brother, not away. I mean, it, to us, it looks like it was intentional. He actually reached the middle of this road here in between the yellow lines. Either way, the driver didn't slow down or stop after the crash, and the family believes the driver must know they hit a person. Tyler remains in the hospital while the driver is still out there, and these sisters are pleading with the person who was behind the wheel to come forward. Because this could be their family members, this could be someone they love. So I hope eventually they decide to stop hiding and show who they are because either way they're going to be found one day. And it's just really messed up because my whole family is forever changed because of this moment. Certainly family members are grateful it didn't go the other way and there, there is a recovery in this. That being said, they mentioned there are surgeries practically every single day. He'll be in the hospital likely several months and have rehabilitation long after that. They've started a GoFundMe page to start raising money to help pay for those surgeries and the hospital bills that are already starting to add up. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.